three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. And new heavyweight champion of the world, the fighting pride of Ukraine, Alexander Husi. He fights for glory and he's found it. So, first, between the two, went to Usyk, unanimous points decision out, man, out of InThisCornerTV.com. That is a website. Uh, that is his podcast. That is his Twitter handle and everything else. James Smitty Smith. James, looking forward to this. Yeah, and I'm, I'm actually looking forward, uh, you know, to the fight. It, it, it hasn't gotten a lot of clout over here across the pond. I don't know how it's going to do, and sure, it'll do well in Saudi Arabia, at least financially. But it's been 11 months since these two met the first time with Usyk pulling off what at the time was considered a big upset. I didn't think it was when he won a decision. And uh, this time out, you know, there's been some a lot of changes. AJ's made a lot of changes and it's camp bringing Robert Garcia in, a guy who usually teaches his fighters to be more aggressive, something that I think AJ uh, needs to do to get back to uh, like he did, you know, before the the uh, the fight, of course, with, uh, you know, a, a couple of fights before his last few fights, he was still sort of an aggressive fighter when he took on, let's say, Vladimir Klitschko. But then he got away from that. And then he, of course, got stopped by Andy Ruiz. And then in the rematch, he played it safe and won, and won the fight by outboxing Ruiz, who came in grossly out of shape. I don't think he's going to be able to do that against Usyk, who, like him, has a tremendous amateur pedigree, He's a brilliant boxer. He's actually packed on some pounds, he says, for this fight. So there's all kinds of interesting uh, twists and turns, as is usually the case. And I think what it'll make for is a hell of a fight on Saturday uh, in Saudi Arabia. James Smitty Smith with us. Yeah, it was a 12-round unanimous point decision last time by Usyk. Is that because he boxed better? He is or was the better boxer? Or did Joshua just not come to play that day? I think, I think more of more of the thing of, of of giving Usyk the credit. He is a better he's a better boxer. He's a better fighter, uh, all around fighter. If I take his skill set and I put put it into a uh, you know a pot, it's going to make for a, a, a you know a more interesting and tasteful stew than would uh, AJ. AJ is a good boxer. He, they both won you know Olympic golds, and um, but I think the I think Usyk can do more. In the ring, I think A.J. needs to go back to, to, you know, utilizing his power. He's a big, strong, powerful guy. There was a time, I probably even said it with you years ago, there was a point I thought he was the best heavyweight on the planet. Yeah, yeah. He proved that. And then came, you know, then came, of course, Tyson Fury and the whole, the, you know, the trilogy with, uh, the, the whole trilogy with Deontay. And, he, 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 and his loss, his loss kind of got him out of the mix. I don't know if he can recapture that because you'll be able to re- re- relate to this, Marty. He's a guy who, like you, AJ, he's used to sleeping <laughs> in those silk pajamas. <laughs> and once a guy gets in those silk pajamas, I've heard a lot of uh, people that have told me, I don't know how all these people have seen you in your silk pajamas, yeah. but once you get in those silk pajamas, it's tough to get it out of your system. Usyk just comes off spending time in Ukraine, and he is a... A lot of people think he's crazy. He looks crazy. I say he's crazy like a fox. And by the way, I'm picking him to not only win the rematch, I'm picking him by stoppage this week, weekend. James, the reason we love you, the reason we have you on is because you are the guru, the go-to guy when it comes to this. Is Tyson Fury, um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll phrase it like this. Tyson Fury, I believe in most people's eyes, is the best heavyweight in the world. Is he the best heavyweight, even though he doesn't have all the belts? You know, I, I would, I would say what he did in the three fights against a very prodigious puncher, but a very limited boxer in Deontay Wilder. Yes, he now, in my opinion, is the number one guy. He claims he's retired. I think he's the best. However, I, I could see him. I mean, being outboxed and out strata, strategy. Uh, wise, uh, out strategy by a guy like Usyk. I okay. think Usyk has the type of fighting style. He's so smart. And you know what? That high level, 
Um, it's like at you with your level as an experienced talk show host. It's about cerebral faculties, something that you bring to your audience each and every day. And look at what you've done today to bring me on here no, no. ahead of this Genius. fight. And that you're in a, your sagacious perspication and sapience is unparalleled. James Smitty Smith is with us out of Vegas in this corner, TV.com. That's a site, and you can jump that on Twitter as well. Is there ever going to be a Joshua Fury fight? And, to, and, 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 and I know that you know it has to go through. He has to beat him. He has to beat him and all of that kind of stuff. Fury has to come out of retirement. But that would be the blockbuster. That's what all the Pommy fans want to see. You know, and, and at the end of the day, people can say, well, if he loses, no. Or if, it, it, you know what? It's all about, it all comes down to the almighty what? Dollar. Money. Yeah. And, prob- and probably... Uh, economically, the biggest fight you could make in all of boxing would be that. I mean, can you imagine? They'd have to build onto any kind of arena over there across the pond, the O2 or the Wembley. They'd have to build onto it and add seats if those. And even if there was a loss, the, when, whenever there's a fight that probably missed its calendar date of what it should have been, still boxing fans will, in their head, they're thinking the best Tyson Fury yeah. against the best AJ. And, and I think it would still work. I never say that a fight has lost. It might have lost its shelf time in terms of when it could be the best fight for both fighters. But having said that, I still think it could happen. Look at the greatest example of that, as you know, is Pacquiao and Mayweather. It took, you know, that fight was five, seven years past due. And it still made for what was basically the biggest, you know, pay-per-view ever. So go figure. James, when we grew up, when you and me grew up, and our good friend Brendan Telfer, who's back on the program as well uh, with us, when, when Telfer grew up, the, the, the silk pajamas, Brendan, does Brendan wear silk pajamas? Oh, you know he was born in silk pajamas. You know that. Of course he does. He, he lies in Egyptian cotton, a thousand threads. You know that. James, when we grew up, it was all about the fastest man on the planet, the 100 meter winner. It was about the heavyweight champion of the world, the, you know, the baddest man on the planet. How important for heavyweight boxing that this fight is a real fight? And I'm asking that just in terms of the, of the popularity of UFC, MMA and things like that. So for all of us who love our heavyweight boxing, how important is this? Yeah, it, it's very important. In fact, I just got off a call with, with UFC Fight Pass and the boxing that I do for the last three or four years has been on a platform called UFC Fight Pass. So you're, yeah, it's very fragmented now and people are very unhappy with boxing because the thing about UFC and you know, I've been a, a, I've often been a critic of UFC and what have you, but they, they have the business side of their sport now much better than boxing has with theirs. That fight already, I give Dana White credit and he would have made that fight with AJ and Fury happened years yeah, ago. Yeah, you're right. Um, so I think it's very, but I do think they're two quality athletes. They're both gold medalists. They both have done the sport the right way. I just think that whereas AJ has one foot out the door and has had one foot out the door for many years now, I think Usyk, and especially in light of what has just happened in Ukraine and the way his fighting spirit is, I know his manager, Egg, has cleaned this very well. I think he's crazy like a fox. And I think he's invested now in being a great heavyweight instead of a cruiserweight. And so I think because so much is on the line for both guys, I, I do think it'll be a very, very good fight. Do I think it's going to be Ali Frazier? Uh-uh. Nothing is Ali Frazier or Ali Foreman. We know that. James, we love you to bits. We'll be back on Monday reviewing this, mate. Thank you. All right. I'm, I'm, by the way, just so you know this, I did this broadcast in my – I don't wear silk pajamas. I, I wear uh, a Speedo. A yellow one, actually. Yeah, right I'm now. hoping. I'm hoping so it's. I'm hoping it's a tiny we thong do it too. We should do these on Zoom. And next time, you, look, you I, take I, away from your audience. Lock the next time, it. Zoom. We need a Zoom. He's got. He's got. He's got a string G on. <laughs> Get him on Zoom.